So hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Saskia and I finished my degree in five days, six days. Good but not good. Proud of me for getting through Southampton, but now what? So I thought I could do, I've done this video twice before, I thought I could do tier ranking my degree modules because I'm kind of done. I feel like at this point I've got all of the information I'm going to get about my modules. I'm kind of done. I'm kind of in the mood to slate some things. Like, this has been a bad year. I would say, as much as all my tier rankings have been very, very low, I think, I think third year has been the worst, which you wouldn't expect because third year you get to actually like pick your modules and it's the one where you're supposed to like craft your own degree, but um, yeah, it's a load of shit. <laughs> Yeah, for context, this is my first year one, and this is my second year one. First things first, got a little bit of, a bit of merch. Not because I support my university or like my university, but because I like the societies, I like Ariel Hoop. So I thought, we'll do a bit of that. Let me talk you through the modules I actually did. So we did in, we do four modules per semester, two semesters. Semester one, compulsory module was our literature review. I think that was the only compulsory module. I then did childhood maltreatment and mental health, social and psychological perspectives to understanding human sexual health or something stupidly long, introduction to educational psychology. I wasn't originally going to do social and psychological perspectives to sexual health. I was originally going to do intergroup relations, but the person canceled the module. Or he moved it to semester two and then cancelled it anyway. The module got cancelled, so I ended up doing the sexual health one. In semester two, I did research paper was compulsory, clinical psychology was compulsory, and I then chose psychology of advertising, human sexual diversity. They're not great picks. The options we had weren't great. They had things like web programming, advanced stat. There was supposed to be a module in I think semester one called developmental psychopathology which sounds like it would have popped off it was however run by my liter my dissertation supervisor who if you've watched any of my videos can you call him a supervisor I'm gonna say no but however he likes my style of work so I could have popped off in that module they scrapped it intergroup relations and individual intergroup relationships intergroup something was run by someone who is now on long-term sick leave, so they don't run, run that module. I find it a bit weird that modules are run by like one person because if they become sick, it gets cancelled. Like in our third year semester one, the web programming module was cancelled like three, four weeks in, so loads of people just had to drop that module and pick another one up three weeks in. Do two people not know how to teach a module? Like I swear every module we've had in like second year and first year has been run by two people in the sense if one person was ill, the second person could do it, or like person one does week one to five, person two does week five to eight. I'm gonna talk you through my tier list, exact same as last time, we have bottom, not even a module. I think that's self-explanatory, not even a module, no lectures, no supervision, not run by anyone, utter shit. We have absolute shit show, which like, it was a module, but you'd rather it wasn't a module. We have. Eh. Eh. with that sound effect um it happened yeah we have this was tolerable and um this was tolerable is the second highest because i hate my degree and then we have best of a bad bunch which is just this isn't the worst thing i've ever done but i still wouldn't sit it again so we're gonna start with semester one we'll start with my lit review I, as much as I had absolutely zero supervision in my lit review, as much as I didn't get given a topic I chose, as much as it was an absolute shit show, I actually really enjoyed doing my lit review. So I feel like I could put it in eh. Because I feel like it can't quite go in this was tolerable because as much as it was tolerable, it's not a module. It's, it is an absolute shit show. It, it should go in not a module. But, because this is going to be such a bottom heavy list, 
got to do something good. Like, I enjoyed it because I got 78 in it. I like independent work. I like the concept of a lit review. It's more just that the execution of the module was abhorrent. We then got Introduction to Educational Psychology. Now, me and introduction modules, we are hit or miss. We did an introduction module in first year, which was Intro to Psychology. I've done Psychology A level. I would say I've introduced myself to psychology. That is still to this day my lowest module in my entire degree grade. It's not because I don't know psychology, but it's because the module was shit. We then did Intro to Health Psychology, which I kind of popped off in, but I also had one question where I literally almost failed the question. Intro to Educational Psychology was my lowest grade this semester. Lowest grade in third year. It was bad. And the content was just, I could have not done that module and I still wouldn't be any, like, any wiser. Like, all of the content that we kind of did, there was like two pieces of new information. Like, it was awful. The grading was so horrible. Like, you see that module and you think, oh my God, she's gonna be so nice. Cause the lecturer seems lovely. And then you start getting your feedback and your feedback is first of all, wrong. Second of all, rude. You get treated like you're a five-year-old. I got told like a, oh, I hope you, I'm sorry this brings up tricky feelings. I'm 21. It's not a tricky feeling. It's a, you marked my grade, you marked my work wrong. I can't do anything about it because you can't appeal academic decisions. I have to deal with this. The two assignments were a load of shit. The content was a load of shit. There was like one module lead and then someone else who marked things as well. You can kind of tell who marked what because the module lead gave everyone 68 72s. The other person gave everyone 62 58s. Yeah, no, that goes an absolute shit show. It was also all online. It was all quite sh Like some of the lectures were just, what does an educational psychologist do? And I still couldn't tell you what an educational psychologist does. I, I learned absolutely nothing from that module. It was, it was a module, but it was close to not even being a module, I'm gonna be honest. Next we do childhood maltreatment. I, I don't think I hated this module. I got a first in it, just, but it was very, very weird. As in, the first assessment had nothing to do with any of the content and I had to make a podcast. Hear me out, not doing a media degree. Would I have been rated lower if my podcast making skills were worse? Would I have been rated higher if my podcast making skills were better? The marking of this, that assessment was quite weird. And then my second piece of coursework, I got told I can't use fucking punctuation. Not trying to start any drama. I can use punctuation. I got told like, you should read some academic journals to see, to see about punctuation. Me? I just spilled water down my top. <sighs> Cause I'm fuming. So yeah, I got told I can't use punctuation. And even though there was pretty much no negative feedback on my assessment, they just put two commas in. They're like, but it's not that good. The last assessment we had to record a presentation in 10 minutes and solve this entire child's life. But it was like, a, you have to give advice to the parents, but like, don't tell the parents. Do it as if you're not doing it. I don't know. Is it tolerable because I did well in it? Or is it just uh, because it was actually quite shit? They did also re release one of our grades late. I, I think we put it in air. So while I was recording this video, not only did my screen recorder not work, but when I went to screen record again, it didn't work. And when I installed two new screen recorders, they didn't record, so no screen recording for you. Although looking at this, I feel like Lit Review could be higher, but I can't do that purely because of how shit it was. We then got sexual health. Hear me out, I've got a current complaint going against this module. It was absolutely shit. Um, I reckon I can put it in an absolute shit show before I even begin my discussion. So first thing is you do a presentation. Here's the thing. The lecturers don't teach you anything. The module is run by students. One of your pieces, one of your, your first assessment is a presentation on a week of topic. So you might do like 5A, teen pregnancy, 
5, 5B, you do a 10 minute presentation in front of the class, which is the lecture for that module. That is the teaching for, you know, if your, if your presentation is on teen pregnancy, that is the teaching for the class for teen pregnancy. That is all you get, you do not get taught anything. You then have to do a follow-up justification, which, again, shit show, we've done so many follow-up justifications. We got told that ours wasn't a product, you didn't have to make a product. We got marked on originality. Of course it wasn't original. The idea was not given, the idea was given to us, like, <sighs> absolute shit show. Then, when we did our exams, I feel like I've mentioned this in one of my vlogs. First of all, it was the only module we had an exam for. Just don't. Then, they gave us the wrong grades. When I opened my email on results day, I had a module grade that was like a 55. I have never had a module grade that low. I emailed straight away and I was like, nah babe, you fucked it. I was like, I know that sometimes I'm thick, but no, a module grade as a 55 meant I would have had to have got like a 52 or a 55 in my exam. I don't do that. I simply don't do that. I emailed the lecturer and the lecturer was like, oh, my bad. He'd given everyone the wrong grade. Well, he'd given 30-ish people the wrong grade. When your class has only got 100 people in it, babe, that's a third. He gave so many people the wrong grade by like two categorical, two classifications. As in someone might have been given a 58, but they actually got 72. Someone might have been given 72, but they actually got 58. I got given the wrong grade and I got told, loads of people in my course got given the wrong grade did not get told that they had been given the wrong grade. I got like a, so sorry. My flatmate literally found out on her classification, on her transcript that she'd been given the wrong grade and like nobody thought to tell them, nobody thought to tell anyone you've been given the wrong grade. So that one was quite shit. But semester two, research paper, I'm gonna put in an absolute shit show because my, as a module, shit, no supervision. You could be asked to run 4,000 ANOVAs and then someone else could be asked to run one. And you're both gonna get graded on like the same harshness, I guess. Some people have had to like design entire fucking studies, run studies and analyze them. Whereas some people, me, have had to download some data, press some buttons on SPSS and submit it. Not even, similar levels of difficulty in the actual paper, but also in the supervision. Like, some people were told, you should run this test. Some people were told, just pick a test and run it. Some people were just kind of told, if this is your hypothesis, do what you want. I'm not a statistician. Statistician? We haven't done stats since second year. And like, we didn't do almost advanced enough level stats to know how to analyze research. Like, yes, I could analyze it, but I could have run like better tests had I known that they existed. Like, I don't know about mediations, moderations. I don't know about loads of different things that I could have probably run had I been told that they existed or had I been given tests or just help. My research paper also doesn't follow on from my lit review. Most people's, you know, your lit review is on ADHD, your research paper is on ADHD. No, mine were not similar. So I had to do a secondary lit review. And also my lit review was a research paper. So this is my second research paper with no supervision. My supervisor did give it a bit of a better go because I complained about him. But like he, as much as someone checking in and emailing and being like, everything all right, that, that doesn't help. As like much as he is checking in on me, I don't need him to check in on me. I need him to tell me, you should run this test. You should analyze it like this. I need to get told something so that I'm not just making up shit. We then have human sexual diversity, which was kind of weird. It's kind of like sexual health, but more like orientation behaviors kind of thing rather than sexual health itself. The first assessment is the one where I made my Sims use sex toys. Got me a first, but what the fuck was I doing? What did it have to do with the course? Nothing. And then what did we have to do? Write pretty much a justification thing for it, but it was also, it was an abstract that was 350 words, pretending that we had run the research that we hadn't run. Hear me out, what the fuck? 
We were then, our assessment for this is short answer questions, which I thought, short answer questions. Whenever we've had short answer questions in the past, it's been, you have 200 words, it's kind of like a bullet point answers. This is four 500 word questions. We weren't taught half the content because she went on a strike. She joined the strike, yeah, fine, whatever. She then said, oh, I'll catch up on the content in the revision session. She then sent an email out on the revision session day being like, lol, I'm ill. If you have any questions, ask me, but like, I don't know what questions I have until I see you talking through things. Um, the questions are really weird in the short answer questions. It's like, Harry wants to get laid. Using evidence, how should he get laid? Your friend wants to know about this module. What would you tell them? How should I write that? So like, am I supposed to be writing it like, hey Harry, if you wanna get laid, you should do this. Like, I don't understand. I think content wise, it could have been interesting. But it was weird. I think it'll go in eh. It's weird. The assessment's weird. The content had potential, but it didn't didn't live up to that potential. We then have psychology of advertising, which when it first kind of came out and I looked at like the Blackboard, which is our online portal for it, I was like, oh my god, this is so cute and pretty. Like it's so nicely organized. The assessment methods are absolute dog shit. Um, we had to make multiple choice questions again. We did that in first year, which fine say I popped off. We then had to make an advert and justify the advert. And we've then had to write an essay, which is supposedly for advertising, but it's also literally just develop a health intervention for COVID. That's not advertising, that's health psychology. So we've had to do that. The lecturer doesn't reply to my emails. He also published grades two days late at 10 p.m. by student ID with no feedback. And I sent him an email being like, hey babe, this is abhorrent, don't fucking do this. He's not replied. He was like, if you want your feedback, email this email address. I sent them an email, don't have my feedback. Sent them another email, still don't have my feedback. I hate the module, hate, hate the module. Um, it's going an absolute shit show. If we'd got given our feedback, if they hadn't published our grades so fucking stupidly, and I think without these stupid MCQs and the weird essay, so basically if they changed the entire module, it could be okay. We then have clinical psych, which is kind of the shit that everyone thinks all psychology is when it's not. I haven't done any content for this lecture, for this module, but I don't hate the bits I've considered looking at. Our first assessment though was horrible. It was, we had to write a clinical case report. We had to watch a video of someone being like, babe, I'm so nervous. And we had to write a report like, oh, Julie is nervous. La 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 la. We had to write that. And it was kind of weird. And also like, we were told you weren't allowed to ask, you weren't allowed to ask questions about feedback that was relating to APA, but we got feedback saying like, some of your references or citations were not adhering to APA, but we can't find the ones that weren't APA. I think, to be honest, when they don't want to give you a first, they just say, not quite APA, add better punctuation. Because like, can I really prove you wrong? No, not entirely, but also, we then have an essay worth 78%. We had two weeks to do it, but 78%. Horrible, it's the four questions, I'm doing a video on this, but I'm doing a question on addiction I'm actually really interested in it. I think it's actually really good. Um, I think the module as a whole wasn't great. The first assessment was kind of weird. I reckon it'll go in air. It could go in this is tolerable, but it won't. And now if you look at this, you can see how shit this has got because we don't have anything in this was tolerable and we don't have anything in best of a bad bunch because none of it was good. Um, yeah, I hate all these modules. I reckon if I had to pick my most least hated, it might be my lit review, which is really sad because of how abhorrent my lit review was run. But I really enjoyed writing it. Same with like clinical, I'm actually really enjoying writing the essay, but doesn't mean I like the module or the assessment methods. Um, basically, hate my modules, hate my degree hate the assessment methods, hate the lecturers, hate the content.